Hey everyone, I'm Dustin. I have nearly 20 years experience in the bike and e-bike industry and today I'm going to show you a folding e-trike you must see. Stick around. All right, so today I'm going to show you a folding e-trike you must see, but before I do, hit that subscribe button below. Stay in touch with us here at 630. Be the first to know about all the new content we're putting out giveaways we do, and of course, new product releases like this folding e-trike, so hit subscribe. All right, electric tricycles are becoming very popular. It's a great mode of transportation for anyone that's got stability issues or you just want something that's great for cargo to lug things around. Um, I personally love electric trikes. And right here, we have the newest 630 folding e-trike. I believe everybody should know about this. Let me go ahead and introduce you to this e-trike. Now, the cool thing about this e-trike, the one, one of the features that really stands out is these are 16 inch tires. Typically, you don't see a lot of e-trikes with tires smaller than 20 inch uh, or even 24 inch. 630 puts 16 inch tires on it. It creates an incredibly low uh, wheelbase, which makes this e-trike, this folding e-trike, very stable, easy to steer. And I'm gonna show you at the end of the video how you can really turn on a dime and navigate into um, nooks and crannies because of the small tires. In addition to that, it creates a very low step over height. I have my tape measure back here. So it keeps the wheel soup, the, the frame very low to the ground. And just to step over here, it's 13 and a half inches. So that's a pretty low step over height to just get your foot through and if you need to slide your butt onto the seat here, makes mounting and dismounting very, very simple and safe. Uh, I know that's gonna be a big concern for a lot of riders out there, is obviously the safety. The one thing too though is, it's not going to put you at a disadvantage because of speed. Like I said, this is a 750 watt front hub motor. That's a very powerful e-bike motor. Now the speed's gonna be regulated to 16 miles an hour, but the 750 watts is going to be able to power riders up to 350 pounds up hills, around town easily, and you can even keep car cargo with you. That's why 630 put such a powerful motor on the front, is to get uh, riders you know, up to 350 pounds up these hills. With a smaller motor, it would struggle a little bit more, especially if you're going up hills and things like that. Cool thing is also front and rear disc brakes. These are Tektro brakes. They're gonna stop on a dime. And again, I will demonstrate that for you here in a little bit. Um, you've got one here in the middle on the rear axle, and then obviously your front wheel one as well. One thing also I wanted to mention about the front hub motor, this can connect and disconnect with one wire here. So should you ever have any motor problems and you need to replace it, you can go ahead and unplug it slap in a new wheel and you'll be good to go. And you have for your brakes, you have your hand brakes up here. These are gonna be uh, what you pull to brake and you can see it really, really stops easily. So top speeds are gonna be up to 16 miles an hour. Let's talk about the battery, 14 amp hour battery here. This is easily removable. So should you wanna fold this up and take it with you, you can take the battery off first, fold it up and lift it. That's gonna reduce the weight by eight pounds, making it so much easier to transport, lift, put in a car, uh, things like that. And range, you're talking about anywhere from 15 to 50 miles. It's a very large range, but there's a couple factors that play into it. One, how heavy is the rider? Two, what type of terrain are you riding on? And three, how are you using this bike electrically? What I mean by that is you've got two modes. You've got pedal assist and you have a full throttle. The throttle is actually here on your thumb. It's a lever you're gonna push with your thumb. This is your gas pedal. So if you so choose, you can pull this throttle with your thumb and the bike will go. You don't have to pedal, you don't have to do anything. So this just turns into your mode of transportation like a mini uh, three-wheeled motorcycle essentially up to 16 miles an hour. Or you can ride it in pedal assist, one, two, three, four, five, where when you pedal, the bike's gonna move. Level one is the least amount of assistance and five is gonna give you the most amount of assistance. So depending on how you use those elements will dictate your range. If you're not using the electricity at all, battery's gonna last a long time. If you're in pedal assist one, you're gonna get more battery life than if you're in pedal assist five. If you're just using the throttle, you're gonna get the least amount of battery range out of this electric folding trike. So 
That's why it's really hard to pin down exactly the range, but I'm confident you're gonna get most likely no less than 15 miles. And I quite honestly think you could get up to 50 miles depending on how you ride it. The other huge benefit is this has a seven speed derailleur on it. So this has a seven speed gear system like on typical bikes. The benefit of that is you can actually ride this trike without using any electricity at all. Um, you can just ride it like a normal bike and it actually pedals quite easily. I'll demonstrate that for you here in a second. Um, also, if you're going up hills, even in pedal assist, it's gonna be nice to have that first gear because that's gonna be easiest to pedal. So it'll get you up hills quite easily. And then level seven, when you're on pavement, you can get going faster if you so choose, get into the highest gear. It's gonna get harder to pedal, but if you've got some momentum going, you're gonna to wanna to get into that higher speed. So it makes it easier and nicer on your legs. Um, again, not a feature you see on a lot of folding electric trikes to have the seven speed option here. And you've got the derailleur located here back on the rear axle. So it's a really, really nice feature. Another thing I forgot to mention is on the front fork here, you actually have a suspension fork. So if you can see here, these are sus a suspension fork. So when you go over um, lots of bumps or anything like that, it's gonna absorb that and the fork will have some give to it. So again, it's just gonna make the ride that much more comfortable for the rider. Now let's move into the ergonomics of this folding e-trike. Some really cool features that uh, allow you to custom adjust and fit this to many different riders body types specifically here the seat this is actually a double seat post so you have two um, adjustable adjustment points here one right here where you can raise and lower the seat and another one here at the bottom so you can get double the extension of the seat here and you can see can bring that up quite high. So this is gonna accommodate riders up to about six foot four. And you can actually raise the handlebars up as well. There's a connection here. You can bring that up and boom, now you've got the seat and handlebar set for a very tall rider. Now you can see for me, I'm five foot 10. Um, and this is actually not too bad for me, but again, you can also tilt these in and you could bring the seat up just a little bit higher if you wanted to. This is actually a little too high for me. It feels good if I'm not pedaling, but you can see I can't even get my legs straight. So uh, I would say this is probably the setting for someone six foot two, six foot three. I need to be a little bit lower to make sure when I'm pedaling. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Um, maybe even just a little bit too high still. Uh, if I was just using the throttle and the pedals didn't matter, I could leave it up that high. But let me go ahead and show you here. So in the tallest position, let me get my trusty tape measure out right now. In the tallest position, the seat can actually go up to 39 inches. And in the lowest position, the seat is going to go to... 30 inches so um, and again this is a very easy mounting so you just step on and you could sit now if you're shorter have a shorter inseam another little trick I like to tell people is you can use the pedal as your step on point you're gonna step on and then you can easily sit down and you're safely on the trike on the handlebars You've got about four inches of adjustment range. So at the highest point, the handlebars are at 40, oops, let's actually put that straight up and down here, 44 inches. And then let's go ahead and bring this down. There we go. Okay. And at the lowest point, now we're at 40 inches. So lots of play here in the handlebars. And again, there's two uh, bolt right here, which is gonna allow you to tilt these forward or backward. So if you have very long arms, you could tilt them forward, give you more extension. Or if you have shorter arms, you can bring them even closer to your body. Or if you just for the sake of wanting them closer to your body to be more comfortable, like right here, uh, again, you could tilt those in, make the adjustment as personal to your body as you wanna get. So that's one of the coolest features is the complete adjustability. Now, 
Let me show you the folding capability. Go ahead and take my helmet out of here. So two places where it folds, it's very simple. One right here, handlebars come down. Now, this for a lot of people could be enough if you're transporting in an SUV or something. The number one thing, or even the, the trunk of a car or a hatchback, kind of the number one thing that makes transporting tricycles or even bicycles difficult is the, the height of the handle, <coughs> excuse me, the height of the handlebars usually. So a lot of times you have to drop the handlebars. So with that easy uh, fold down, now you've got the handlebars completely folded and you've got one lock right here and then you can just unfold right here and fold the bike completely in half like that. And now your bike is in half. And again, to lighten the load, you can go ahead and remove the battery and that's gonna reduce it by eight pounds and you can lift it up and put it in the car. And then from there, go ahead and put it down, click your handlebars back into place, tighten your lever in, and come around to the front here, click that in, and then you just latch that on, click that in, and you got your lock, and boom, you're off and riding. Very, very simple to lock and unlock. And let me get my seat just adjusted how I need it. Okay. All right, so some other quick measurements. The bike is designed to fit through the width of a standard doorway. So at the widest part, it's 31 inches. All interior doors are gonna be 32 inches. And exterior doors, a lot of them are gonna be wider to, than that. So. If you want to store this in a house, steer it into a house, or if you want to drive it in a store, concerned about doorways, this should easily fit even into hotel rooms. Let's say you want to use this as something to get around an amusement park and bring it back into the hotel at night. That's going to fit through the doorway into your room, no problem. And you can also fold it up in the room, you know, when you have it there stored at night um, <clears throat> or in your RV. And lengthwise, you're looking at 64 inches long. So it's a very compact, um, easy to ride folding electric trike. Now, let me go ahead and hop on and do a quick demo for you of me riding. Go ahead and take my hat off, get my matching helmet. So some other cool features on this folding e-trike. Just gonna push here to power on. And like I said, okay. Now, very cool thing. You actually have a reverse function on this e-bike. So if you should need it, you can pull your throttle here and it's gonna take me backwards. So if you just, you know, get stuck in a corner or if you're using this as a way, again, a mobility device to get around, you have that reverse to, to come out of a certain situation. I can put it back in first now. And um, let me show you really quick, actually, let me turn it off and let me show you, let me go ahead and ride it. Now I'm shifting gears, that's the noise you're hearing. And okay, now I'm in second. And I'm not using any electricity and it's super easy to pedal. And you can see the stability is so great. This is one of the most stable e-trikes I've ever ridden because of the low, low wheelbase. Okay, so that's with no electric. So if you're looking to get, get exercise, super simple. Okay, now I'm gonna power it on. And again, I'm 5'10", about 215. And you can see I'm zipping along and it really, turns quite nicely, brakes very easily. I was already up to 10 miles an hour. Now, I'm gonna put this through the ringer. Now you can see even here, this is a sloped uh, area right here. Honestly, there's no effect on it. I know tipping can be a concern for some people on e-trikes, but this, this folding e-trike is very, very nimble. And then pedal assist, I can just pedal. Let me go ahead and shift this down to, I had it in level five right then. Let me go ahead and just shift it down. 
And I play with my gears a little bit. Now this is a trigger shifter on your gears too, which makes it very simple to shift. <laughs> And check this out, so zero turning radius. I can just go ahead and hold this and do circles. <laughs> just to show you how nimble it really is. And then if you want to come over here. And you can see the wheels stay, the rear wheels stay on the ground easily. And again, I really attribute that to the 16 inch rear wheels and the low wheelbase. This thing is so much fun, um, so easy to steer. Just, you know, the other thing too is sometimes tricycles can be difficult for people to adjust to. Uh, with the smaller wheels, it's, it doesn't feel like it's too much trike or it's pulling you in either direction. It's very nimble, very easy to steer. Something that I honestly believe can be used indoors, outdoors, transportation, uh, exercise, commuting, you name it. This folding electric trike is a lot of fun. So if you have any other questions about this model at all, please comment below or email us at team at 630.com or call us 310-982-2877. Or if you're in the market for a bike or an e-trike, you can also find this on our website, 630.com. Or if you don't know what you want, take our proprietary body fit quiz ask you a few questions about your body and your life, and we'll recommend the perfect e-trike or e-bike for you. And we have a 30-day test ride your bike policy. If you don't love it in 30 days, send it back. No questions asked, no money out of your pocket. In addition to that, we're gonna warranty this for a year. If anything goes wrong in a year, we'll take care of it, send you the parts, or get the labor done, whatever you would need. Lastly, before you purchase, join our community, our Facebook Peddlers group, and download our app. You can connect with existing 630 riders see how they like their bikes in advance of purchasing, ask them questions. Then once you have yours, track your rides on the app, compete on the leaderboard, and of course, make new friends in the Peddlers Group. So thank you for sticking around, and don't forget, it's your journey, your experience, enjoy the ride.